To use possession in Spanish, there's three simple steps. Step one, you need to choose one of the following words. Tengo, which means I have. Tienes, which means you have. Or put a name and then the word tiene, which means someone has. For example, Carlos tiene means Carlos has. Step two, add the correct article. Un or una mean a, and el or la mean the. P.S. An article is not always necessary. For example, tengo chocolate means I have chocolate. It doesn't necessarily have to be tengo un chocolate, meaning I have a chocolate. Step three, add a noun. Tengo un perro. I have a dog. Or you can say, tienes un perro. You have a dog. Or you can say, Juan tiene un perro. Juan has a dog. By following these three simple steps, you'll be speaking using possession in no time. Let's review these words. Tengo. Tienes. Tiene. Here are some examples. Tengo una casa. Which means, I have a house. Tienes un perro. Which means, you have a dog. Juan tiene una vaca. Which means, Juan has a cow. Side note, how do you say, I have a cat? The answer, tengo un gato. How do you say you have a cat? Answer, tienes un gato. How do you say Maria has a cat? Answer, Maria tiene un gato. The easiest way to ask a question in Spanish is by fluctuating your voice. In English, if I say, do you have a cat? Notice how my voice fluctuates. The same goes for Spanish. Tienes un gato? The statement form is Tienes un gato, which means you have a cat. But if I ask it in a question form, I say Tienes un gato? Notice the written questions have two sets of question marks. The first one is upside down. That's just for reading purposes. To answer a question, for example, the question, Do you have a cat? You can answer affirmatively by saying Si. Sí. Tengo un gato. Yes, I have a cat. Or negatively, you can answer and say, No, no tengo un gato. No, I don't have a cat. Some more examples. Juan tiene un perro? Does Juan have a dog? Positive answer, Si, Juan tiene un perro. Yes, Juan has a dog. Negative answer, no, Juan no tiene un perro. No, Juan doesn't have a dog. Another example, ¿Tienes una casa? Do you have a house? Positive answer, sí, tengo una casa. Yes, I have a house. Negative answer, no, no tengo una casa. No, I don't have a house. As you practice uh, asking questions and answering them positively and negatively, you'll get more used to doing it correctly. Now here's a quick quiz. You may want to pause your screen once you see all of the questions, but see if you can't translate all of these. Do you have a house? Yes, I have a house. No, I don't have a house. Does Carlos have a cat? Yes, Carlos has a cat. No, Carlos doesn't have a cat. Do you have chocolate? Yes, I have chocolate. No, 
I don't have chocolate. Do you have a cow? Once again, you may want to pause your screen as you answer these questions. Translate them into Spanish. <laughs> 